Okay, so I came through here once uh, at the end of uh, turkey season and uh, I missed a few spots. <clears throat> so I wanna come back and uh, clean up a bit more. But what I'm doing is I've got a spot over here um, about 20 yards away just over my left shoulder where there's a trophy rock mineral. And I put it out initially back in like mid-February and then I replenish it again uh, the week after turkey season ended. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning up some of this brush and uh, creating a trail from the drainage all the way to a spot that the deer don't have any uh, trail intersections. So I can come in, stay in the water the whole time, come up the bank at the steepest point, and then uh, not cross any deer trails on the way in to check where uh, ultimately my, my camera will be. So. Um, just a tip, you know, when you're putting out uh, mineral sites, you want to be able to um, access them in and out without uh, leaving a bunch of scent, brushing up your arms, your shoulders, your body uh, against tall grass and brush, and showing your hand in the, in the game of chess. You know, once a buck knows he's being hunted, it becomes really diff difficult to kill. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a nice, easy trail in and out so I can get in, check those cameras right before rain, and uh, leave uh, next to no scent. So. It's the time of year, uh, deer season is gonna be here before you know it. So I'm just kind of doing some prep work, getting some exercise, getting out here and clean some, clean some trails on the way back and forth to where my camera's gonna be. So it's a good, good idea to do that now and not uh, right before season starts. So if you're lucky enough to have a creek or a river that goes through one of the properties where you deer hunt, Take advantage of that. I like to situate my tree stands and my cameras as close to the edge of any steep drainage ditch, uh, creek or river. Uh, of course, uh, keeps your scent down to an absolute zero and uh, it's nice and quiet when you go, not, when you go slow. So I wanna take the new canoe out here and I've just parked here in the, in the creek. Uh, deer season's not uh, uh, for another four months, but uh, after turkey season ends, what I'd like to do is uh, put out minerals, recheck minerals, hang cameras, hang stands, and then stay out of that area um, I might go in and check maybe one time before bow season starts uh, after August 1st. So uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to take advantage of the creek and slip on down here around the corner and I've got a food plot over my left shoulder um, and I'm going to put uh, one stand on the, the northeast corner for a south southwest wind and then I'm going to put a stand on the far west side for an east northeast or southeast wind. So take advantage of the water whenever you have it. So many times in the fall, if you're hunting along a creek bottom and you get an inch or two of rain, sometimes the creek will come up several feet in a 12 to 24 hour period. And a lot of times that happens around here in Kentucky around early to mid-October. And the problem with that is that the water gets so deep I can't access some of my best spots. And sometimes it gets so deep that I can't even cross with chest waders on. So what better way to access some of your spots than buy a new canoe? I like the new canoes because it's light, it's very well made, it's American made, and uh, it has an uh, incredible amount of stability. But you can access your hunting spots by water, keep your noise to an absolute minimum, and your scent down to zero as long as you don't touch brush on the way in and out. But it's just fun. You feel like Daniel Boone going down the creek. As I was approaching the food plot to hang the first stand, I heard a lone tom off in a distance. There was a storm rolling in and he gobbled at almost every other thunderclap. So I tied up the boat, grabbed the camcorder, and slipped up the hill, slowly worked my way to the edge of the field, and there he was, 60 yards away. Mm -hmm. 